In this lecture, we will learn about GitHub and GitLab. Hi, I am Imran Afsal. I make learning technology easy, even for beginners in IT. So I have over 25 years of experience in Linux administration, Windows, virtualization, and many more. I have taught millions of students worldwide. So GitHub and GitLab are two popular platforms or websites on the internet where you can keep your projects that are managed by Git. Git is the tool that saves all versions of your files and works on your computer. But GitHub and GitLab give you a place to put those projects online so that you can share them. You can think of Git as the notebook where you write your work and GitHub or GitLab as the big shelf where you put the notebook so others can read it. When you only use Git, the project lives only on your computer and no one else can see it until you give it to them. But when you connect Git with GitHub or GitLab, the project is uploaded to the internet and now your team or even the whole world can access it. For example, if you are creating a mobile app, you can save it in uh, GitHub and then your friend in another city can download it make changes and send them back. GitHub is very popular for public projects where people want to share their work with everyone. And that is why most open source projects in the world are stored there. If you create a small game and upload it to GitHub as a public repository, then anyone around the world can see your code, download it, and even suggest improvements by sending changes back to you. At the same time, GitHub also allows private repositories, which means you can keep your code hidden and only invite specific people to work with you. This makes GitHub useful, both for open source developers and for teams who want to keep their work limited to themselves, but still enjoy GitHub's powerful tools. GitLab is also a platform for storing Git projects online, but it is more popular among companies and organizations that need strong privacy and control over their projects. For example, if a bank or a hospital is building a secure website, they may choose a GitLab because it allows them to keep the entire system private and only visible to employees. GitLab can even be installed on a company's own servers, which means the code never leaves the company's network, giving extra security. This is one reason many businesses use GitLab instead of GitHub when they are working on sensitive or internal projects. Both GitHub and GitLab provide tools that help with teamwork, such as issue tracking, code reviews, and merge requests but GitHub is seen more in the open source community, while GitLab is seen more in enterprise and private environments. For example, if students from different countries are working on a free learning project, they will likely use GitHub to share with everyone. But if an IT company is developing a software product for paying customers, they may prefer GitLab so the code stays private and under company control. So this is a simple explanation of GitHub and GitLab. If you enjoyed the lesson, please give it a like and share your thoughts in the comments. My team and I have worked so hard to make learning simple for you. Thanks for watching and let's keep learning together.